What's up guys, I have yet another microphone review for you guys today. This is the Mayono WM820. It's a brand new unreleased set of wireless microphone kits operating on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. This smashed its targets in the crowdfunding campaign that was running on it. Now this is the prototype engineering model, so I don't have the actual public release model just yet, but I have been trying this out and I wanted to showcase to you guys why this is absolutely great. So let's go ahead and unbox this set it up and test out the audio to see how great this sounds. So let's get straight into it. Now I just have to say starting off that this is probably the most compact and the smallest wireless microphones that I've had so far. I've had a lot of them and you can check out the playlist of all of my microphone reviews in the past. I'll put that in the description as well. But this one beats all of them by far. Now in the box, let me go ahead and open it up. I'm really liking this black and yellow design. So you have yourself there, the user guide at the top. Now if you just take a look on the microphones here, there's one transmitter, one receiver. Look how absolutely compact this is. Let me go ahead and remove this. So inside the bottom of the box, you have yourself the wind muff for the internal microphone of the transmitter. Then you have yourself a TRS to TRS phone cable. Then you also have the camera cable, which is a standard TRS one. Then there's a very nice carry pouch, which is also very compact to put both the transmitter and the receiver in there if you wanted to take it with you in your backpack. Let's take these out of its box inside each of these you have two USB-C charging cables now one thing that isn't in the box with this is a lavalier microphone so that's something you might need to buy separately but of course I don't have the public release model and it might come into the actual box when it goes out at the end of July but if it doesn't then that's absolutely fine you can get a lot of them there's a whole bunch of them on the market that you can add to this but I will be using a separate one to test the audio with a lav mic as well as the internal mic on the transmitter. So let's dive in a little bit more of these devices themselves. So you can see how compact this is. And by the way, this is probably one of the lightest that I've ever held. On the right hand side of the transmitter, you have yourself the power button, a mute button, and a pairing button. You've got the USB-C charging port there at the bottom. On the top, that's where the microphone cable will go, and that's the internal mic. You have a couple of LED indicators that showcase different things. One would be the connection status of the pairing, and one is the charging LED indicator. And with the receiver, you have the power button, the volume plus and minus gain buttons, as well as the pairing button if you hold both of them down consecutively. Same indicator lights, USB-C charging port. On the top, you can actually monitor this with some headphones. So if you put your headphone in there, you can monitor the output. And then this is the camera cable connecting port there. Now in terms of the battery life, they have six hours of battery life in them. Now that surpasses a lot of the previous wireless microphones that I've had of this size. So I think that is absolutely great. The signal to noise ratio on this is around 82 decibels. So I will be testing this out as well. It does operate on a 2.4 gigahertz frequency, but that does interfere with a lot of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled devices around you, which I have a lot of. So I will be testing that out as well to see how much interference there are in such a compact device. So currently the audio that you're hearing is coming from my very premium shop gun microphone just out of view of the camera which is connected to a mix pre 3 sound devices pre-recorder now that would obviously give me the best quality audio in any situation because it is an expensive piece of kit but from a wireless connection point of view i'm going to give you a sample of playing the audio directly from the internal mic on the transmitter and then setting up a lavalier microphone with the transmitter as well and seeing how that sounds so let's go ahead and do that now so now the audio that you're listening to is coming directly from the internal mic on the WM820s of the Mayona microphone. This is an omnidirectional microphone as well, so I think the quality on it is so great. I have a whole bunch of Wi-Fi enabled and Bluetooth enabled devices around me, and I have played this back, and I'm pleasantly surprised that this is probably the first 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphone kit that I've used in this office space of mine that doesn't have a lot of interference or hissing noises in the background by default. So I'm so impressed and the way they've done that in such a compact and lightweight device, it amazes me. So it's no wonder that this surpassed over $700,000 on crowdfunding because the quality that you get and overall 
in terms of the pricing, which I believe when it will come out will be below the $100 mark, you're gonna get an absolute bargain for the capabilities of this. The next test I want to do is now use one of my other lavalier microphones. I have one here from a previous mic set. I'm going to connect this to see the difference in the audio quality. So let's go ahead and make that switch. So now this is the audio coming directly from the lavalier microphone that's connected to the transmitter. I've also played this back and it's so much nicer, so much smoother in quality. So I do recommend using a lav mic if you have one. If not, there's plenty that you can buy on Amazon. But even then, just the internal mic was so impressive to me that I can see myself using this to go anywhere and do filming outdoors especially. The portability and lightweight option of this, it can just fit in your pocket. You don't even need to worry about having a specific carry bag for all of your microphones and all of your cables. This pretty much covers everything. If you wanted to use this for your smartphone, you can do that, connect it to your cable and obviously use an adapter if you don't have a headphone jack. But for me, I can see myself using this in so many different scenarios. So I think it's a two thumbs up from me. Let's just quickly take a look at the back of the box and at some of the key specifications to give you an idea of what this can do when it does get released at the end of July. So you can see that the transmission range is up to 50 meters. So having a range at that length to do pretty much any type of filming that you like for such a compact and lightweight device, I think is great. And for the most part, you might not even need to do any filming at that range but to have the option and the flexibility of doing so, I think is just great. It's got a built-in antenna, obviously, as you guys saw from the design, but there's zero latency that's monitorable on the receiver as well. So if you do put your headphones into the monitor port of the receiver on the camera, you can pretty much see that there's hardly any latency in the audio that's coming through, which for me is one of the key things, especially when it comes to editing in post. And I believe when it does come out, it will come in two colors, white and black. So this is quite good. Not a lot of wireless microphones give you options of different colors to, to buy it, to match whatever equipment that you have. So I think that's just a nice touch to add on top of it. So I'm very impressed with this. I will be using this quite often as well. So if you guys do want to check this out, take a look at the link in the description below. Check out Mayono's website. They do a whole bunch of camera and microphone accessories. They've got some very high-end products as well, which I know you're going to like. If there's any other questions that you guys want to know about this product, then make sure you go ahead and ask me down below. If you did like this and you do like microphone reviews and all things tech, I have multiple videos out every week. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.